Hello and good morning. How are you doing today, sir? I'm good. How are you? Absolutely fantastic. I'm ready to talk about the the genius of Deion Sanders because this man is proving that I can I can do it, but I'm going to teach people how to do it as well. Absolutely. He I mean, he has been on fire his whole entire life. It's almost like we've all fallen witness to him growing up like a TV star, you know, like on, on a sitcom. I mean, we have watched this man become who he is. Yeah, Coach Prime is one of a kind, man. I mean, I think when you look at the success that he's had over the course of his whole career, both as a player, you know, now as a coach, as an entertainer, um, as a broadcaster, I mean, the guy doesn't miss. He goes out there and he just delivers hits. And um, whenever you have something like that, a person who's been successful at every single level, you you have the ability to be successful again. And there's some people that just can walk into it and um, they just know how to win, and winners win, and he's one of those. You have got to be proud of what you've done with Coach Prime on Prime because, I mean, this is part of the mystique of it all because when the, when we started this new season with Coach uh, uh, Prime, I mean, the thing is is that we knew what we were getting into this season, and my God, it was exciting. Yeah, it is, it is a truly an honor, and, you know, it's not just me. We had a whole great team. You know that are around me and everybody is you know pulled their weight and so as they as they um as, as i lean on their talents as well i think we all win and it's been really fun to be a part of uh to be able to see the kind of lightning in a bottle thing that i think is just going to continue to grow into next season as we watch the buffaloes continue to do their thing and and coach prime wow what a what a crazy run they went on in that first three games i don't know that i've ever been a part of anything and seen anything that was quite as wild and so much hype as that 3 and 0 start. I mean, I'm down here in the south and we do love our football in the south with the ACC, but my god, when when we were talking about Colorado football, there were people here from Charlotte traveling up to Colorado just to see that team. Yeah, I mean, he's the Michael Jordan of football. I mean, he is the the biggest star, one of the biggest stars ever in the sports world and so you know i think he means a lot he meant a lot uh he was bigger than football there's a big uh there's a story to it that that was significant and when you see somebody win who's always won i think people get behind that and they cheer for it and you know coach prime said uh you know love it or hate it you know you're gonna watch it and i think that's kind of what it was Man, you bring up Jordan. I saw him play here in Charlotte. Deion Sanders saw him play here in Charlotte. I feel like that we are the elite people that saw these geniuses out there doing their game. Yeah, I mean, I think there's some people that, you know, us mere mortals just watch in awe. And Coach Prime, one of those guys. And it's fun to be around him and get to see kind of inner workings of how greatness works. And I'm excited for people to see it on Prime Video. Um, new episode coming out tomorrow. We were all hoping for an undefeated winning season, but, you know, things didn't go that way. Yeah, you know, and I think that there's there's growing pains that happen with that, just like there's growing pains anytime you you take over a program, you know, that you got to figure out how to get those guys to come together, just like as if they were the guys that you walked into. That's that's part of it, you know. And um, But I think that you just manage those things, and at least if you've gone through a whole spring – and you looked at the guys that you got and you're like, man, these guys don't get that fire. Why wouldn't you? And so I think it's just a different approach and people can call it heartless and people can call it whatever I kind of call it innovative. Do you think there's a new level of play when it comes to college football? Because I mean, this is inspiring and it's motivational. Yeah. It's an interesting thing because I think that, you know, yes, it is called, it is innovative. Yes. It is changing college football, but there's only one prime. <laughs> And it's not like, I mean, name another player that could come in and do that. Peyton Manning goes and coaches college right now. You pretty much got the same guy that you have at different schools. There's not that many guys who are like uh, as big of a superstar that are able to pull that kind of lever, you know, in college football. So as much as I think it changes, it, it changes the way that people know what's possible, but there's only one coach prime. And so I don't know that anybody else can bring that star power. You showcase the many different levels of Coach Prime. I mean, is there anything he can't do? Because he seems to be doing everything. Coach Prime has been through every stage of life. He's been a broadcaster. He's been a, you know, a player. He's been a coach. He's been all these things. And so I think he's just a, he's a huge star. And I'm excited for you guys to see it on Prime Video. You know, a new episode coming out this Thursday, tomorrow. 
One of the things that I learned as a martial artist, to get up to a third degree black belt, we had to learn from the sideline. And I swear that's what I feel when I'm watching Coach Prime, is that the coach is on the sideline. He knows that game, and he's going to put that game into action. Yeah, I think a lot of people maybe misunderstand what Coach Prime does and who Coach Prime is. You know, I've been around a lot of coaches you know, in my, um, in my profession and uh, both I played college and I'd be right there with my camera filming everything. And you could hear the way that he's talking to his coaches. You could hear the way that he's talking to his players. He's more than just a motivator. He has a tremendous feel. He might be like, Hey, we need to get Shador outside the pocket. And I can just tell that he's, he, he needs to get more comfortable. Let's get some short throws. It, and, and so much of what football is, is about that feel and knowing that sense of the pace and knowing the sense of momentum. And he's just got an uncanny ability to be able to sense that. I can't imagine what you're hearing through your earpiece when he is shoot, shooting out some of these one lines. I mean, I mean, I mean, he is the master of one thought. And I, and I find that to be so inspiring yeah. about Coach Prime. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's got some witty stuff. You know, he's kind of one of those old school ball coaches, you know, that will say something that kind of hurts. But you know it's true, and and you know he, he it's interesting because he doesn't swear, oh. you know, and so he'll get on guys, but he doesn't swear. So, uh, and I can verify that is one hundred percent true. You know, he goes through and he has tremendous self control, but he also does isn't afraid to tell you what's up. Yeah, and he's not afraid to show his real side because when he was going through his struggles, he basically was telling every man and woman in this world, put on your big boy pants and let's move on. Don't let anything get you down. We've got a game to win. Yeah, I mean, I think whenever you have a coach that you can respect and you can and you can respect his toughness, you know, when we were uh, following him, my first shoot with him was at his foot surgery. And so I was in the, I was in the hospital with him when he was about to get you know, going through all of his foot stuff and about to have surgery there. And you can see the pure agony in his face. And then you see them put these rods into his toes and you, you see that and you see them get pulled out and you see that like in two weeks, he's wanting to run out with the team. Wow. And he said, that's my goal. That's what I'm chasing. I want to run out with the team. That's what he was just chasing normality is what he said. It is. It is because it, because of what he used to do to the Carolina Panthers. You know, we all had that you know that love hate relationship with with the other players. But the moment that we learned of, of of how he was you know in so much pain, all of a sudden that hatred became prayer. And and I was like, oh, how is this even possible? The whole nation is praying for Coach uh, Dion. Yeah, I mean he he is he transcends sports in a lot of ways, and I think that the interesting thing about his charisma is that you may want to hate him, but there's something about him that makes you love him. <laughs> so true. And you're like, God, I want to hate this guy sometimes. You know, even if you're that guy, when he smiles yep. and he says something and he grabs his son and he hugs him, you're like, damn, that's cool. <laughs> Wait, you know, and so I think that people are like that. And he's just got that it factor, man. <laughs> and and those incredible sunglasses. I got to have a pair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got I got three. Oh God, dude! Congratulations on Coach Prime season two. You really know how to share a story, and and, and I, I just can't thank you enough for doing this because you are igniting our passion for for being a sports fan. Uh, thank you, sir. And like I said, you know, all credit goes to my team. You know, they uh, they really elevate everything they do, and I'm really proud of everybody that was involved in this. Excellent. Will you be brilliant today? Okay, sir. All right, you too. Thank you. Thanks for having me.